this, so this is day two of our beater car trip and I finally got myself a beater car and it's that limo right there. So the plan for today is to take this limo and also take Rob's Cadillac and bring it to a shop to have them be modified. And I have no idea what's gonna happen, but I think we're gonna do some pretty crazy stuff. Okay, so after hours of DMV shenanigans trying to get the car registered, we made it. So now I have to drive this thing more. <laughs> this thing is such a pain to get out of a parking lot. Hold on. No, not down gear. Squad. So this is a 1993 Cadillac Fleetwood limo. So right now I have to follow Ferretti who is leaving me in the Isuzu wide turning radius. And stop. Oh my God, stop, please stop. So the AC will turn on, but it, all it does is blow out hot air. So that's a NSX. So the AC will turn on, but all it does is blow hot air. So I'm feeling it. The red leather doesn't help, but it is surprisingly comfortable. Like it, I almost one day want to like make a really cool build out of one of these. I'd love like to bag it or something. That'd be really cool. The limo itself, is 25 feet long 25 feet long you have to take turns so wide this is the first time i've ever driven a limo so it's kind of nerve-wracking but it's kind of an interesting experience knowing how much you have to turn it and also a three-point turn turns into a five-point turn only bad thing though is that the lights do not turn off so just like our other beater cars we have to leave it on everywhere we go. So that's not sketchy at all with our camera equipment. The car is actually in pretty good condition. So I'm like, I'm almost bummed that we're gonna mess with it a lot. Another thing too that popped up with the car was that apparently for no reason when you drive along, the trunk will pop open. So I'm not, <laughs> please don't. It's such an interesting feeling driving a car that like you don't really care about. You ram it, you scrape it, you just do all these things and you feel no remorse. And it's almost a driving mindset to the point of you get you get a little too used to it. So when you're around normal people cars, you're just like, oh, whatever, I hit them, I hit them. And you're like, no, wait, you can't do that. How you doing? Good. Oh, hi, Rob. <laughs> we finally made it. The shop we arrived at is called Ultimate Auto in Orlando, Florida. They have everything from Lamborghinis with VF superchargers to twin turbocharged old school Camaros. Obviously, we felt a little out of place, so we decided to go outside and brainstorm what to do to our cars. All right, so I found out that Dom was actually in my car investigating about why mine is better. We're already bickering about which Cadillac is better, and I don't know what to think of it. So, uh, now what? <laughs> I, now I think there's another side. There's another side to this story. <laughs> no! I was going for precision too. I was going to make sure I didn't hit the body. I was like, I need to keep this perfect, but take this out. Thanks, Dom. You're so kind. That's what you get for bragging about the number of doors you have. You're just jealous. I am jealous. <laughs> it's faster, it's newer, it's more comfortable. Not why anymore. Don't you, why don't you think about me? Why don't you think about me? You're the one who picked the Cadillac. <laughs> and then you picked a, Cad a better Cadillac. That's not cool, yeah, bro. You picked awful cars. You didn't. Yeah. That's awesome, Camera, please. The hand just broke it. I'm so close. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. It's okay. Her testings are out, but you're gonna make it. It's not your fault. Chicken arms, don't let me down. Oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna hurt myself. So, like Freddy's car, my car only has one good side. And I'm generally disappointed because I really like these doors! So, uh, this is what happens when you mess with me and my car. Only, only a matter of time. All right guys, huge thanks to Ultimate Auto for taking time out of their extremely busy day to help us blow up, cut up, and take doors off the limo and all these great fun times. And also a quick reminder that this entire trip was made possible by the Panjo Marketplace, which is the enthusiast marketplace. So if you're interested in buying our crazy limo we messed with, it is going to be up on that website. So we all have accounts. Dom has an account, I have an account, and he has an account. So check it out on that marketplace.